Hi, in this presentation, I will discuss the two 2021 Embodied AI challenges held by the prior team at AI2. These two challenges include object navigation within the RoboThor environment and visual room rearrangement in iThor. RoboThor is a platform designed for research in simulation to real transfer. With this target, our team designed RoboThor so that there is a distinct correspondence between real world rooms and scenes in simulation. RoboThor includes a large variety of different indoor scenes with varying layouts and objects. Our simulated robotic agent is modeled after the popular and relatively inexpensive Locobot. While the pandemic has stymied our initial plans of allowing external researchers to test their simulation trained agents in our real scenes, we hope to resume this direction shortly. Our iThor environment was built prioritizing complex interaction while abstracting away some robotics complexities. iThor supports realistic physics, object manipulation, object state changes like opening and closing cabinets, and even multi-agent collaboration. We will first discuss our object navigation challenge within RoboThor. In object nav, the agent is randomly initialized within a scene and given a goal object category. In this example, a TV. The agent must then explore the environment until it finds the object of the given category. The agent is considered to have successfully found the object if when it takes the stop action, which ends the episode, it is both sufficiently close to the object and the object is visible within the agent's camera frame. Our challenge includes 85 unique scenes within RoboThor, with 60 reserved for training, 15 for validation, and 10 for test. These scenes include diverse wall and furniture distributions, over 700 distinct object categories, and 12 goal target categories. These objects are distributed across the RoboThor rooms, and there are many unique object instances for each target object category. As noted previously, the RoboThor agent is based on the real-world Locobot, equipped with RGB and depth sensors. For realism, we simulate actuation noise using data from real-world experiments. We encourage anyone interested in object navigation within RoboThor to try it themselves. Installation is easy. We use sensor and action configurations compatible with other frameworks. We have extensive starter code and pre-trade models built using the Allen Act framework. And while our 2021 challenge has concluded, we have a persistent leaderboard where you can submit your models at any time in the future. The winner of our 2021 RoboThor challenge is the ICT Action Boost model from Bai, Zhang, Li, Song, and Jiang at the Institute of Computing Technology at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. This submission introduces a lightweight Action Boost model that can be quickly fine-tuned upon existing baselines. In their experiments, the ICT team identified several challenges, including training RL models with limited computational resources, using object detectors within simulation, and sharp performance degradation when using models trained offline in the online setting at test time. Next, we move to our iThor rearrangement challenge. In our visual room rearrangement task, there are two distinct stages, a walkthrough stage and an unshuffle stage. During the walkthrough stage, the agent roams around the scene and views objects in their goal locations. During the unshuffle stage, we start by temporarily removing the agent. We then change the state of between one and five objects. For instance, a cabinet may close and the bread may change in position and rotation. The agent is then placed back at its same starting position. Its goal is now to interact with the environment such that it undoes the changes just made. Note that the top-down image shown here is purely for visualization purposes. In practice, agents see only first-person egocentric RGB images. For this challenge, we generate a data set containing 10,000 rearrangements across 120 unique rooms with over 1,200 object instances that may change openness and over 1,800 object instances that may change in position and rotation. We have two challenge variants. In our two-phase challenge variant, the agent must first 
walkthroughs to complete the walkthrough stage before going on to do the unshuffle stage. In contrast, in the easier one phase variant, the agent need only complete the unshuffle stage and is then given at every step the paired image that would be seen at its location in the walkthrough stage. Here, the corresponding walkthrough image shows the laptop on top of the table. The agent can then use this information to place the object in the correct position. As with the RoboThor challenge, it is easy to get started with, re with our rearrangement challenge. Installation is easy. We have extensive starter code and pre-trained models, and you are free to submit to our leaderboard at any time in the future. Finally, our 2021 challenge winners. Unfortunately, no one is able to beat our active NeuroSlam based baselines. This suggests that our rearrangement task is quite challenging and that our baselines are surprisingly strong. We encourage you to try your hand at beating our models. Thank you very much.